Good morning, welcome back to the X-Ring. So we are headed out to Big Ivy Silas Branch in Burnsville, North Carolina, just outside of Burnsville. It is a beautiful venue. It is an unbelievable place to shoot. Um, one of the hardest places when it, when it comes to wind calls, but they are doing the spring fling out here. It's a PRS event. We'll be shooting center fire and uh, we'll show you some of the dynamics of how you get to some of the stages and whatnot. So let's hope we do well today, so stick around. Now, Big Ivy is out in the middle of nowhere, and depending on which way you come in, it's a beautiful drive in, follows along the river here, and there's not much out here. Once you leave the town of Burnsville, you're not gonna have any uh, convenience stores or anything like that, but we are headed up to Silas Branch, which is the name of this one, and some, uh, some pretty cool buildings and whatnot. As with most ranges, they're out in the middle of nowhere because, well, that's why the range exists probably, but uh, it is just beautiful getting out here through, um, you know, historic Western North Carolina. You're gonna see a lot of old, old structures and barns and whatnot. But as we work our way up the mountain, we're gonna get to the dead end of this road. Now, if you're looking for a flat range, this is not it. You'll actually shoot mountaintop to mountaintop, and it's an unbelievable place to experience. Now, when you come up to the main entrance, you're gonna have two big signs like this. If you go to the right, you'll have class parking. They have some bays over there, but we're gonna go to the left, and we're gonna go up the steep mountain here. Now, the match doesn't start till nine o'clock, but they do have a zero range open to 200 yards, so let's go ahead and get some zeros and uh, make sure we're good on our ammo. So these are the zero bays out to 200 yards. They have some steel set up out there. So I just got my barrel warmed up just a little bit just to confirm my dope. And this has got heaters and it's got fans as well. Nice setup for 200 yards. Impact. 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 Horrible position. Impact. 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 We go near on this one again? Near. Yes, sir. Impact! 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 Well, it's all said and done. We had a great time. Had some, had some uh, first-time shooters. They were actually shooting their three-gun setups. And so, Steve, you actually shot a one to six, didn't you? A one to six. A one to six with 55 grainers, and believe it or not, made quite a few good impacts. And uh, he actually had a son out here as well, and he tried it for the first time. So, all right, so our squad's finished. We've got Enrique doing some tablet work here. I mean, I didn't shoot Hoping it. for I top three. If I get top three, I'll be happy. See you yeah. Third place. Congrats. You get more stickers than everybody else. All right, first place. TJ, thank you. <laughs> Ray Helms. 
All right. All right, guys. So I was fortunate enough to be able to pull out a first place. We got Enrique here. We got TJ. They actually ran the match today. And guys, honestly, if you're in this area, this is a great place to learn how to get into PRS. You're not going to see the guys that are chasing the points. Um, maybe one day, but right now, because they're just getting their feet wet with it, uh, the stages you have difficult. You also have some some gimme stages, and there's a good mix. So if you have a precision rifle and you want to get into it, this is a great place to do it. Very relaxed atmosphere. Big shout out to all my sponsors, MPA, Cobalt, Microtech, everyone. I appreciate each and every one of you. Come out to Big Ivy, Silas, Brants. Come check it out. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hate to do this in the vehicle, but it's the only chance I could get. Uh, Big Ivy has been a huge supporter of the channel, everything from assisting me with ammunition and being able to have a place to teach and shoot. It's a great place. It's where I actually run some of the classes that I do throughout the year. And it's one of the hardest places to shoot that I've found on the East Coast because there are very few wind indicators because you're shooting across from that mountaintop to mountaintop. So big shout out to all the guys at Big Ivy. Um, like I said, they're just getting their feet wet with it. You're usually starting somewhere around nine o'clock or so. You're done by about 1.30. They do about six stages. I did talk to them about possibly doing eight stages. It is a PRS sanctioned match, or at least there will be in the future. And so I think it will grow. So I think they're looking at also doing some NRL 22 or PRS style um, uh, matches for 22. We are headed to American Defense Manufacturing. We're going to be out there for four days. Basically, it's Thursday, and we'll be shooting all day tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and that's going to be in Clinton, South Carolina. That's considered a major three-gun, and if you're in the area, definitely come by and watch some of the stages. Uh, they do a lot of long range out there as well as part of the three-gun, so if you're used to base stages or shooting out to two or 300 yards, this isn't the match for that. They will take targets out to about 700, I think, and so we're looking forward to a great time. So once again, I hope you guys have a great week. We'll get you some footage from the American Defense Manufacturer. We'll be hanging out with John Mullally from KB32 Tactical. We're going to have a great time. And then Kreiderman's also going to join us. It's going to be his first time shooting a 2011 style pistol or double stack nine. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I'm a little concerned. Hopefully he doesn't uh, get DQ'd or anything, keeping that finger off the trigger. You guys have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.